Yo, what it do, guys? It is your boy, Leon Mookie here, and I'm back with you with another new chapter of Trails of Cold Steel, A Hero's Rising. And damn, it has been a while since I last done a chapter on this. To be honest, I am somewhat sorry about that. I wanted to release the next chapter as soon as possible, but I got distracted with plenty other things as well. Not only that, I also had to replay Trails of Cold Steel 1 again. And honestly, I have to realize something. God, playing the, th playing the PS3 version is really outdated as hell. So I had to replay. So I bought the, well, P the PS4 version on the PSN store, replayed it, and went over everything else again. So yeah, at any rate, with all that out of the way, let's go through that of a little recap. After Machia splitting up from that of the group for the time being, and Yusus joining with that of Izuku, Reen, Gaius, and Elliot, it shows he shows off his prowess with that of court fencing and his Arcus unit as well, showing that he's quite the spellcaster. With however, soon after the four the five boys have to face against that of a gargoyle. To get out of the underground labyrinth of the old schoolhouse. As the fight is overwhelming and, re and pushes all five boys to their limits. Until everyone else of, everyone else of the class 7 finally arrives. Defe defeating it once and for all. With surprisingly, they were actually connected by one another using the Arcus un unit's main feature. Combat links. Also, Sarah explaining that the meaning behind that of Class 7, that it's a class that focuses more on a compatibility with the Arcus units over that of background or status as well. With many people on the fence until Breen and Izuku stepping up that they will be part of Class 7, but then follows up to everyone else as well to join. With the new Class 7 now officially formed, how will this year go on? So... With all that said, let's get into this, shall we guys? Also, a bit of a heads up. Remember guys, the one that I shipped Izuku with in this story is Sarah. So remember that. After all, she's the one with the hot that got the highest votes in the poll about a year ago. So don't ask. Any rate, chapter four, Time at Thor's. It has now been several weeks since at the fir since the first day at Thor's military academy and class 7 was truly officially formed the curriculum of Thor's military academy is mostly composed of that of history orbital science military drills social studies mathematics and also that of literature as well even there are even that of elected classes which are more selective either based off that of, well, your class background or gender. But even so, time has gone by quite a bit. Except a bit of few things that have caused quite a bit of a stir within class 7. First thing that's mostly the biggest, well, sign being that of Machius and Eusis always still fighting with one another. They try keeping their distance from one another, almost to a huge degree. For example, if Eusis is in the library, Machias will basically wait until he's gone so he can go into the library himself. Or if there's PE classes, such as that of swimming, either Eusis or Machias will wait outside until that of either one of them are done. If basically, it, the two of them just don't know how to get along whatsoever. The second one is kind of minor, but it is seem like it can be a bit of a problem, mostly on one person's side. That being Elisa still holding a grudge over Reen due to the accident at the, well, orientation exercise. Showing that Alyssa holds quite a bit of a grudge over Reen for one for a simple accident that, she, that could have been avoided though. But even with those two things that seem a bit of a, well, inconvenience and annoyance, it's still, Class 7 still continues on as always. However, it seems that even though they're class, they're not as close as they should be due to, due to the, either their backgrounds or certain personal issues. 
that they won't go into detail about, which is understandable. But even so, Class 7 still stands even to this day. But there is one thing that is somewhat of a no that is somewhat of an annoyance, though, which will exp which I'll probably get into later on. the the month The month is that of April. The day is that of the seventeenth on a Saturday, as it being another day at Thor's military academy, at Class Seven's personal dorm room. And since Class Seven is a spe is a special case, they have. Normally, Thor Thor's has that of two has that of two dorm asylums, one for that of common students, being those from normal backgrounds, and though and those of nobility. Class seven, on the other hand, since they are basically composed of both nobles and common students, and also students from outside of the country as well, they basically get their own well dorm asylum for. Mostly as a way to show on how different that they are from the norm, from that of the typical common and noble students. Currently in the dorms, on the second floor, being that of the boys' floor, Izuku Midoriya is getting ready for his for another day at Thor's, getting on his school uniform, being that of the red, well, blaze the red blazer jacket. And putting on his clip-on tie. Given that, Izuku really does not know how to, well, tie a tie on, on his neck. With then, Izuku looking at himself in the mirror thinking, ah, I look pretty good. With then getting on his, red, his custom red mate boots that he's had on ever since he was a kid. And begins to head out the door. Before then heading to his desk. Where he sees that of two photos. One photo of that of his of him and his mom, and the second photo being that of a oh that of him right under that of a of a, that of a buff man that looks like he's at least that of six ten, with that of blonde hair and quite the muscular physique, as he has one big goof one big cheerful and somewhat relieving smile on his face, with then soon. Izuku feeling somewhat down for a bit before slapping his cheeks with then saying, Okay, I gotta do this. I know I can. I did prom I may not be able to live up to his legacy, but I swear I can do this in my own way, or rather, a different way. I promise I won't let you down. After saying that, he finally does leave his room with as soon as he opens the door. He soon notices that somebody else opens the door from the other from that on the other side of the door of the hallway right in front of him as it being Reen as they are basically they're basically neighbor door na dorm neighbors with Reen noticing Izuku he can help but say oh morning Izuku with Izuku doing the same saying morning Reen as they close each other's doors to their rooms with then soon Reen saying had a good night had a good night's sleep saying actually yeah well also did you leave later on early this morning like pretty early to be honest right with then Izuku saying oh I'm guessing you've noticed for the past couple week past couple weeks or so with then Izuku scratching the back of his head before stopping saying yeah it's a training's it's a training regimen I used to do when I back in Crossbell. I used to wake up at least that of, well, five, at least three, two hours early before I had to get ready for school. I guess I'm just too used to it after all. I can't stop, to be honest. With then, Reen saying, I see, totally understandable. I'm guessing I woke you up by any chance? With then, Reen saying, what? No, no, no. You didn't wake me up, to be honest. Let's just say I was just able to notice, that's all. With Izuku raising an eyebrow, saying, Okay, well, if I did, still sorry. With then Reen basically internally thinking, He can't help but apologize all the time. I guess it shows how much he cares about other people. Or how, or if he's kind of a, an annoyance on, if he's kind of a bother on them. With then Reen getting out of his his thoughts with then soon somebody saying hey reen izuku morning you two 
with then both the green nets and the and that of the navy black nets with Vince looking over to see their friend and classmates Elliot Craig seeing the redhead with Ben soon with Izuku saying ah morning morning Elliot with then Reed saying yeah morning with Elliot speaking up saying so you two just finally getting up as well what and why don't we all three of us walk over to the school together with Reed saying yeah sounds like a good idea with then Izuku saying true but we should get going quickly it's starting to get a little bit late and I don't want both our class reps to worry about us after all. Within Elliot saying, yeah, no kidding. As Elliot turns around, he soon begins to hum to himself with then saying, I guess everybody else must have left, possibly even those on, even the girls on that of the top floor as well. With then both Reen and Izuku begins to hum with then soon Reen saying, I don't sense anybody on this floor. They it seemed they would have left already, especially Gaius. After all, just like him and Izuku, both of them are quite a bit of early risers. With then Izuku scratched the back of his head saying, "Yeah." Also, same way it's it's also the same upstairs as well. Many just like you said, Elliot, everybody all of the girls alongside that of instructor Sarah is probably gone. But I do send to these two more people at least about to leave downstairs, so we should get going. With Elliot feeling somewhat curious, but also a little bit creeped out a, a bit, with then saying, oh, okay then, then let's go. With, as the three of them begin walking, with then Elliot internally thinking, they're not sensing anyone? What does that even mean? Also... Izuku said that there were two people downstairs as well. It's kind of weird. How how do they even know? Uh, probably just overthinking things at least a bit. With that, the three of them soon head downstairs. With then finally arriving to that the main lobby of cl of class seven. As they head to the exit, they soon see that of two girl of that of two girls of class seven. With then Elliot saying, hey, looks like you were right, Izuku. With then Izuku saying, oh, yeah, guess I was. With Reen saying, no need to feel a little bit modest. As he soon turn, as Reen turns around, he soon noticed that one of the girls being that of Alyssa and the second one being Emma. With Reen being somewhat nervous. With then Elliot and Izuku notice this. With then Izuku realizing, oh boy, with Elliot whispering, you can say that again. As Alyssa soon looks at Reen, as she has that of a bit of a glare with her soon basically crossing her arms. With then Emma noticing, saying, ah, good morning, you two. With then Reen and Elliot alongside Izuku say, good morning. With then Elliot saying, good morning, you two. You guys heading to school, heading to school together? With Alyssa saying, yeah, we are. Come on, Emma, we are going to be late. With then Izuk saying, wait, uh, Alyssa, if you like, the five of us could walk to the school together, if, if that's okay. As Izuki says this, soon Alyssa just already walks out the door before Izuku could even finish. With then Izuku saying, oh, okay. After feeling down, j feeling like he's just been, well ignored or ditched with then soon Emma soon speaking up saying don't take it too personally Izuku Alyssa wasn't trying to be mean or anything like that but with then Izuku saying no no it's okay I kind of understand what she what she was trying to do with then soon both Elliot and Izuku look at Reen with Reen actually having that of a bit of a sweat drop down his face with then Emma continuing saying, anyway, I'll see the three of you in class. After saying that, Emma begins to walk away. With then both, Iz with then Ed saying, oh yeah, see you class rep. With then Isaac saying, see you in class, Miss Emma. With then Reen on the other hand, basically slumps his head down, feeling defeated and also feeling even more depressed due to Alyssa's actions. With then Elliot saying, 
Yikes. Never thought that she would hold a grudge this long. I mean, how long has it been? Four to three weeks? Within Elliot crossing his arm saying, she has to realize that it was an accident after all. Who knew Alyssa would be so, well, sensitive? With then soon Izuku saying, I wouldn't say that in front of her, at least he's Elliot. You do that, it's basically a world of pain for you. With then after hearing that from Izuku, Elliot began to realize, oh, right, yeah, sorry about that. But still, with then Reen finally coming out of his small moment of depression, with then saying, no kidding though, still, even after these th after these three weeks or so, she still hasn't even given me a chance to even apologize. Not once. With then soon Izuku saying, yeah, figures. She has been some, but I think she wants to apologize though. Just give her time, Reen. With then Elliot saying, Izuku's right, Reen. After all, Class 7 has enough problems given our... Well, uh, two most prideful warriors at each other's throats, to be fair. I think everybody would feel a lot less more tense if at least you two could, well, make up Reen. With Reen answering, saying, I'll try to do what I can, as much as I can. After saying that, the three, the three boys finally leave their dormitory, with then finally walking to school. As they walk past, as they walk past, a few of the Siphonia blossoms begin to go, begin to fall onto the ground. As they continue showing the beginning of spring, as the three boys continue walking while also talking to one another, with Elliot soon saying, "Can't believe it's almost been that of two to three weeks since we finally since we came to this school." Personally, if I was going to be completely honest. I thought combat cl classes would be the one that would be the hardest for me. Never thought that the academic portion of the school curriculum would give it would actually give combat classes more of a run for its money. With then Reen basically commenting saying, "Well, the well the memo of strong body and mind is basically ingrained in Erebonian culture after all." Personally, I thought I would be easily able to just coast through the year, but now, nowadays, I really have to reevaluate how I'm going to see go through this school year. With then Izuku saying, "Really? You guys have been struggling that much?" With then both boys look at the gr the short greenette. With then Elliot saying, "Oh right, you haven't been struggling that much, have you, Izuku?" Both in that of well ac academics and that of well combat and combat training. With then Izuk saying, "Don't get me wrong, it's still pretty tough and still, and still can overwhelm me. I've just found a way to well manage my well workload. After all, both in that of academics and in that of our combat classes too." With then Elliot couldn't help but speak up, saying, "Man, you got it. You you almost I, you almost have it that together, Izuku." Honestly, I would give to have that of both Machias and Emma smarts. They would have no problem whatsoever. With then soon, e Elliot speak up saying, But then again, Emma did get the top score in the entrance exam, and knowing Machias, he wasn't far behind. And same thing also goes for you, Izuku, right? With then Izuku scratching the back of his head saying, <laughs> Well, technically, I was actually in the top 10. There are at least a few more people who are a literal smarter than me, to be honest. Within, Reen saying, I'm sure, Izuku. Matter of fact, both Yusis and Elisa are do doing pretty well for themselves as well. Within, Izuku also commenting saying, yeah, Lauren Gaius is the same way. Within, Elliot hearing Izuku saying, really? Guess I'm just gonna have to suck it up then. But I really hope they don't mind, though. With both Izuku and Reen soon saying, Huh? I don't follow. What is it, Elliot? Is something bug bugging you? With then soon Elliot saying, Oh, sorry. It's just that when the two of you brought up that of Yusis and Laura, I've been talking to the two of them the same way I talk to everyone else here, but... 
They're nobles, right? Not to mention, Eustace's family does own the entire eastern half of Erebonia. So I'm kind of feeling that I should address them a lot more formally, you know? Within Reen soon commented saying, well, they both said it was okay to address them anyway. So, so it shouldn't be a problem. With then Izuku also commenting saying, I don't know, I'm with Ellie on this one. After all, I'm from Crossbell. Speak, we do have that of an upper class and a lower class, but it's more on that on whose income and wealth is bi is well vastly bigger after all. But even as for my family is a little bit in the middle class. So in between that of low and high class society in Crossbell, with then Elliot saying, "Oh yeah, that's right, you are from Crossbell." It's well, its society is completely different from what you would see here in Erebonia. With then Reen saying, if I recall, Crossbell was founded by both that of the Erebonian Empire and also the Calvert Republic too. Basically to show that of a joint relationship between both nations as partners and neighbors. But with then soon Izuk saying, yeah, lately things in Crossbell... But since our borders are in between both that of Calvert and Erebonia, we are basically caught in the middle of all of that. Especially given that both countries' finances are keeps are basically keep safe in that of Crossbell. In a way, we're basically considered that of valuable to both nations. With then both Erebonian boys look at the Crossbellian green nets. With then Reen saying. Don't let it get down, get it, get you down so much, Izuku. After all, th things might look up a little bit better for Crossbell. With then, as he says this with that of a smile, but then Elliot saying, "Yeah, th after all, things might be feeling a little bit tense, but things could always look up for the best, for the better." With then Izuku having that of a somewhat sad smile, but his eyes say that have that of a look of thanks towards the towards both boys with then saying thanks guys i appreciate your words but as for you elliot though you shouldn't pick any fights with that of usis like unlike a certain someone with then elliot having that of a look of somewhat well nervousness and also caution is saying oh i do not plan on it Within the three boys began to say to themselves, "With I was hoping that they would at least get along over time, especially given that the past couple of weeks or so. But anything since it's been spiraling downhill real fast." Within Izuku also commenting saying, "Ain't that the truth? I mean, when the two are in the room, there's just like this big overwhelming tension in the air. It's just." really hard to focus on anything but their hatred for each other within reen speaking up also adding on saying and on the surface it almost seems like it's machias that's causing more of the trouble but if you also look be if you also look closely it almost seems like he takes joy in provoking machias at every opportunity he gets when machias says something it's just hard to imagine what would take anything to get the two of them to see eye to eye at this point. With then Elliot saying, Yeah, I really wish that there was something we could do to get those two to get along. With then Izuku commenting saying, Then we need a try. With both look at the greenette saying, I mean, it may not be much, but we at least need to try to see if those two can get along or have at least some common or hobbies together. We can't. Because if we don't, who knows how long until those two literally get violent instead of it turning from verbal to that of physical. Within Reen saying, you got a point there, Izuku. So we can at least try, at least find some way to f have those two compromise with each other. Within Elliot saying, yeah, hopefully Adios gives us that of a sign after all. After saying that, the three boys couldn't help but have that of a down have both their heads down before looking at each other with that of a smile as soon the two the three of them continue walking as soon as they head get closer and closer to the school they soon see that of a few other 
students from Thor's. However, instead of them wearing the red uniform, they're wearing that of the green, green uniform instead, as these are that of the common students of Thor's military academy. As the three soon stop for a bit, with then Elliot kind of a comment saying, huh, that's where we would have been if we weren't in class seven, dormitory two, where all the other common students go. With then Reen saying, yeah, I guess so, right? With Izuku soon picking up on that of Reen's stutter for a bit. With then Izuku wanted to say something, but then Reen con basically commenting to get off that little, well, mess up he had, saying, still, I can't believe class seven gets their own dormitory. Still, I believe it was an abandoned building be when before the year even began. I think they renovated probably just for class seven alone. With then Izuku getting off that track before shaking his head saying, yeah, I guess you're right. It does have a nice feel to it, right Elliot? With then Elliot hearing his greenette friend saying, oh, right, yeah. It does feel nice, to be to be fair, like you said, Izuku. But personally, I would prefer if it was a lot closer so we didn't have to do too much walking. With then Izuku saying, I guess to reach their own. Personally, I think I like it that it's near that of the, well, out near one of the highways. It gets me closer so I can do my early, my early jog routine. With then Reen saying, <laughs> like you said, to reach their own, Izuku. Hey. You're in our way. Step aside at once. Within three student, three students on that from the other side, as they have that of white Thor's military uniforms instead. As the three students walk, one of them have that of blonde, have that of blue hair. The other one has that of brown hair, and the one in the front, who seems to be taking more of the lead, has that of well clean blonde hair that goes all the way down to his neck as the three st stand in front of the other three students with the guy with the blonde hair saying huh class seven it seems as the boy as the boy soon basically looks at both Izuku, Reen, and Elliot with then Elliot feeling somewhat nervous saying um is there something the matter with then Izuku narrowing his eyes at least a little bit, or you couldn't even see it that much, as he internally thinks, yeah, I've seen this kind of guy's type before. With then him soon placing his hand on his hips, with then saying, you're just a ragtag group of nobodies. Come on, you two, we're leaving. With the bo both boys behind him begin to comment saying, one of them saying, yes, Patrick. With then the other guy on his, on Patrick's right being the blue hair guy saying, word of advice, you may, you guys may be in that of a special class, but that doesn't change on who you are. Never forget your place. As the three soon walk past Izuku, Reen, and Elliot, with then soon Izuku stopped narrowing his eyes at least a little bit, Reen still having that of a blank look on his face, and Elliot feeling like he was holding back that of a, well, Sh nervous breath with Elliot still feeling somewhat shaken up at least a little bit as he takes a sigh saying so they're from that of the upper classes man stuff like that is why I hate talking to them with then Reen also placing his hand on the right side of his hip with then saying unfortunately that stuff that kind of attitude is way too common for all the nobles thank god Usis and Laura are nothing like that with then Izuku saying, true. However, dad did tell me that the nobility in here in Erebonia is quite notorious. Hell, I'm pretty sure almost all nations are aware of Erebonia's nobility system. With then Elliot saying, I would be surprised if nobody did. Well, except Gaius, which makes sense given that he's from the Nord Highlands. But even so, with then soon, the three look up to on that of the left side as seeing that of a flight of stairs that head up to another dormitory that seems more lab that seems more luxury and lavish at that within Elliot speaking up saying that's the infamous dormitory one where all the nobles live 
People say it's really fancy because there's a bunch of both maids, butlers, and a lot of other stuff too. With then Reen commenting saying, wow, really? With then Izuku saying, huh, figures as much. I'm not really, I'm, I may not be truly from, well, Erebonia, even though my dad is originally from here. He still, he still told me a lot about Erebonia society and how was it like. To be honest, to me, ever since I was a kid, I always thought that nobles were just more, were just more lavish rich people, especially in Crossbell. With then Elliot saying, oh, Izuku, it is more than that. Within Izuku saying, I'm aware, especially for the past couple of weeks or so. With then, Reen was about to say something before then, the Thor's school bell soon rings. Within Reen saying, guess that's our cue to pick up the pace. With then, Izuku commenting saying, definitely, come on guys. With then, Elliot saying, right, sorry. As the three began to walk a lot faster, with then, Elliot asked both Reen and Izuku, hey, you guys have picked any clubs to join yet? I decided to join the music club. With then Izuku commenting saying, unfortunately, no, I have not. Per I've been thinking about wanting to make my own club, to be honest. With then Reed saying, oh really? What kind of club were you thinking about while well, making? With then Izuku couldn't help but blush a little bit saying, you guys might think it seems a little bit dorky. With then soon, Elliot saying, come on, Izuku, everybody has their own type of club on how it's going to be. I wouldn't make fun of you. With then Izuku saying, I was thinking about making a bracer fan club. With then soon, both Reen and Elliot look at each other. With then Reen saying, you're serious? With then Izuku couldn't help but say, well, yeah, I guess it did. does sound stupid, didn't it? With then Elliot saying, no, no, it doesn't sound stupid or anything. It's just surprising. With then Izuku saying, huh? Why so? With Reen speaking up saying, the reason being is because the bracer system here in Erebonia is not as big or as well, resp or as respected. To be honest, it's kind of been de disbanded to be, to be fair. There's only a few... To, to honestly, there's only a few guild buildings that still exist here in Erebonia, and it's kind of rare to see even see one. After hearing this, soon Izuku remembers something that one, that one of his mentors told him about the bracer system in Erebonia, that it's been disbanded due to a certain incident that happened in the capital about that of five years ago, with then Reen saying, but even so, I think it would be a good club to jo to make. With then Izuku saying, thanks guys, appreciate the words. What about you, Reen? With then Reen saying, nah, not yet, actually. Haven't really thought about it. As the three finally arrive back to Thor's, into their homeroom classroom as well. With, as the day goes by, of another long day of classes, training, and... Well, more classes, actually. It's now time for history class with Instructor Thomas. As Instructor Thomas goes over the War of the Lions, one of the, the Civil War of Erebonia, one of the most important wars of Erebonia history, to be honest, as it goes over the story of Draco, of Emperor Draco's The Lionheart, what, basically one of the lower-ranking princes of the Erebonian Empire at the time. However, however, instead of gaining that of a lot of support as many of his other siblings, instead, he gained support from that of the Nord Highlands and its people there. Reen was told to be answer the question on where, well, Dracos gained his support from. However, it seemed like the guy was struggling at least a little bit with then he Izuku noticed that Elisa wrote down the answer for Reen to well speak up to, which he find, which he answered correctly. With then Reen actually wanted to thank her, but however Elisa decided not to say anything. With then 
Izuku noticed this and couldn't help but smile, saying, Well, at least it's a start. As soon as the class continues going on, and, cla and even more classes still continue on as well, until the day finally comes to an end, with their homeroom teacher, Sarah, speaking up, saying, Nice work, everybody. You finished up another grueling day of classes. As everybody's still in their seats, within, Sarah speaking up, saying, Well, in case you all were living under a rock, don't forget that tomorrow is your very first free day. Technically, it's not really a day off, but there are no classes, so you're free to, to spend it however you like. As Sarah continues going on with saying, Why, well, you could go to the Capitol and shop the day away if you feel like it, or do what I do, sleep the day away. God, sleep is so wonderful. As everybody hears this, they all couldn't help but have that of a sweat drop, feeling somewhat, well, annoyed at their, te at their homeroom teacher's basically laziness. Within Emma, speaking up, saying, Um, will the... School's facilities still be open on for tomorrow? But then Maki is also speaking of saying, I would love to know that too. I would prefer to still use that of the free study area in the library if I could. Within Sarah saying with a chipper tone saying, Of course! This school shuts down for nobody, so use the facilities as you please. Also, don't forget if any of you guys have joined clubs, most most clubs have that of meetings on days like this, to be fair, so try to check on those and not to miss any in case. With both Laura and Gaius both actually quite interested in that, to make, so they would make sure to be updated on their club activities in the future. With then, Sarah still continuing saying, Oh, before we all leave, I should also inform you on what, you got, what we're all going to be doing next week, though. On Wednesday, you all will have your practical exam to prepare for. As everybody is quite confused with then both Reen and Elisa speak up on their confusion. With Sarah continuing saying, it's basically a test of your combat skills. So you need to be well rested and well prepared for anything to come. Because you will be graded on your performance. Hearing this, Machias actually seems quite interested in what's for this practical exam. As for Ellie, on the other hand, he's kind of freaked out that he may fail. As for Fee, she just yawns due to her being sleepy and bored. With then Sarah continuing saying, oh, after that, I have a very, very important announcement as well. Something that's actually important to the entirety besides the Arcus units to Class Seven's curriculum that I haven't mentioned at all just yet. Hearing this, everybody in the class was completely shocked with then Machias couldn't help but scream out, what? With then Reen internally thinking, so here it comes. With then Izuku also mentally thinking, so the true, the true meaning behind Class 7's curriculum, besides the Arcus units, I'm kind of curious. What is it by any chance? Because there has to be more than just testing a new form of ornament. With then, as Izuku was about to go on that of a muttering spree, with then soon, Sarah based, snaps him out of it what, before he could even start. With then, soon, Sarah saying, So, that ends today's classes. Vice Rep Machias, would you do the honors? As then, soon, Machias says, Uh, yes, instructor. With then him standing up, with then saying, all rise, as everybody else in the class class begins to stand up saying, and bow, as they bow, the, bow to Sarah, as now it's finally the full end of classes for today. As everybody begins to leave classes one by one, the only ones left in the classroom is that of Reen, Elliot, Izuku, and Gaius. As Reen is still in his seat with Izuku, Gaius, and Elliot, well, basically gather around him. With Elliot soon slumps down with that his with his head down to his shoulders, within saying, "Oh God, I'm so worried for next week's practical exam." I mean, I'm just starting to get used to this stuff. Within Izuku saying, "You know, Elliot, if you like." I could help you train and develop your, well, orbital, 
your skills with your orbital staff. The gymnasium is quite big, to be honest, so there wouldn't be a, that of a hard spot to find to train to ourselves. With then Reen speaking up saying, Yeah, that's not a bad idea, Izuku. If you like, I could actually help out tra train as well to, for all three of us to improve. With then Elliot perking up at least a little bit, with then saying, Izuku, Reen, thanks guys. Thanks, your offer is way too kind for me. But I decided to just attend club practice today instead, with both Izuku and Reen shocked. With Reen commenting saying, you've already joined a club, Elliot? Which one? With then Elliot speaking up saying, I decided to join band club instead. I'm pretty good vi with the violin, so I thought it would be a good fit for me. With then soon Izuku saying, I didn't know you were good playing the violin. Did you pick it up for just for fun? With Elliot closing his eyes and giggling to himself saying, <laughs> well, something like that. With then looking at the tan, the tan skin brunette, brun, tall brunette, with then saying, "Guys, what about you? You joined a club yet?" With guys saying, "I'm considering to join the art club, actually." With then both Izuku, Reen, and Elliot were caught off guard. With then soon, Reen saying, "Honestly, I did not picture you actually choosing that club." Well, no pun intended, guys. With then. Izuku asking, do you have any artistic experience, guys? With then the tall young man crossed his arms, but then saying, I dabble a little bit back at home. I originally taught myself back at Nord, so I thought it'd be a good chance to learn new styles here at Thor's. Within the other three couldn't help but be somewhat impressed with that of Gaius. Within soon, the, do the door to the home room soon opens up. With is coming through, it being that of their own room teacher and instructor, Sarah, as she walks over to the four boys, with then saying, ah, good, the two of you are still here. With four, the four boys somewhat confused, with then Elliot saying, instructor, you do you need something? Or is there something wrong? With then Sarah scratching her head saying, oh, no, 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 nothing, nothing like that. I just need someone or two to do a teensy weensy little favor for me. There's something in the student council room I need to pick up. Elliot confused, he couldn't help but say something you need to pick up. With Gaius finishing Elliot's word sentence saying, what is it? Within Sarah closing her eyes and has one of her hands on her hips with then saying, oh, that's for me to know and, the, and for you to find out. But I will say it is something absolutely integral to your school life here at Thor's. And anybody needs to get it, then that doesn't matter who, just any volunteers by any chance. She says this in a more sultry, but also begging tone in a way. With then both Izuku and Rin look at each other. With soon Izuku having that of a somewhat saddened smile on his face. With Rin having that of a nonchalant smile on his face. With then Rin saying, sure, I can go. With then Rin Izuku saying, same here, I got nothing else to take care of right now, so I should be free. Within Izuku saying, if both me and Rain show up to the student council room and tell them that you sent us, they'll already know what, what we need to get, right? Hearing the two, both Elliot and Gaius were shocked, with Elliot saying, wait, you guys are sure? With then Gaius saying, you two really don't mind doing this. With Rain speaking up saying, you guys have clubs, so and since both me and Izuku still haven't made, haven't decided to either join a club or make one ourselves, we're free to do this. After all, it's not really a big deal to be honest. With Izuku speaking up, saying, "Yeah, uh, honestly, it'd give us more time to think about what kind of clubs we want." To be fair, so I don't see a problem with it. With then. Both Elliot and Gaius look at each other before looking back at their two classmates slash friends. With then Elliot saying, well, if you really don't mind, you two. With then Gaius saying, thank you, both of you. 
within hearing this, Sarah couldn't help but have that of a big smile on her face with smiling, saying, All right, thanks, you two. The student... The student council room is in that of the student union building. So on that of the second floor for, and, and the door at the very end. You can't miss it. Also, it's always open quite late, so you two don't really need to rush that much. Within, she continually saying, Thank you, my lovely dearies. I'll leave everything in your both's capable hands. Uh, thanks, I guess. With then. E both Izuku and Rin are somewhat, well, kind of weirded out by her by her words and her tone of voice as it seems seductive in a bit. With then, Sarah soon leaves as then both Gaius and Elliot soon leave to head to their club club meetings. As for Rin and Izuku, on the other hand, they soon begin to le leave the room as well and then head to the student union building. With then soon, both Izuku and Reen began to talk while heading there. With then Reen saying, Still, can't believe that this is how our life at Thor's has been for the past couple of weeks. Are you sure you've been holding up pretty well, Izuku? With then Izuku saying, Yeah, it's like I said, it's tough, but I can handle it. After all, I need to, to prove I can handle it here. With then Reen feeling somewhat, well, curious on what how Izuku said it, phrase it like that. With then, soon, Reen couldn't help but shake his head a bit before saying, Well, I think you deserve to be here. What, what, at, well, anyone else saying? With then, Izuku opened up his wide, somewhat puppy dog eyes. With then saying, Thanks, Reen. Appreciate your words of encouragement. So we should get this thing for Instructor Sarah with then Reen saying, yeah, definitely. Let's go. After this conversation, the two students of class seven decided to head off. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Love to read them. Sorry if this didn't have, I didn't go any further for this chapter. To be honest, I was focusing more on the conversation between that of, well, Re between that of Reen, Elliot, and, well, Izuku, after all. To be honest, for personally, I feel like having Izuku there basically opens up more branches of conversations besides that focusing more on that of Erebonia history. And I would basically bring up some, well, incidents from other games Especially given that, well, Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2 take place the same time as Trails of Zero and Trails to Azure as well. So yeah, I'm going to make quite a bit of references to both, to either game. Especially given the given that Izuku is actually from Cross, is Crossbell in this story. So bringing up some things from Crossbell that would be brought up in that of... Tr either Trails of Zero and Azure would makes a lot more sense. So yeah, at any rate, if you guys like this, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification to keep up to date my videos when I upload on the channel. Also check out my Discord, gaming channel, main channel, Patreon, and Cash App. All link in the description below if I'm not too lazy to do so. So with all that said, this is Leo Mookie signing out. Later guys, and I hope you all take care.